you want a low powered compact mini PC that's also powerful, then you have clicked on the right video. This right here is the B-Link EQ i12. This is an Intel Core i5-1235U processor. This also comes with 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, and it also comes with one terabyte of NVMe SSD. So overall, this is a very well-specced mini PC. And as for pricing, this is currently running for $340 on Amazon. So let's see what we get inside the box. So it comes with the mini PC itself, some manuals and instructions, a power cord, and an HDMI cable. What I really like about B-Link is that the power supply is built in within the mini PC. So no need to carry a big brick around for, you know, power supply need. As for the device, here it is in a nutshell. It's a dark gray color with a textured top. Overall, it does look pretty good and premium. On the front, you get USB-A port, a headphone jack, and a USB-C port, and finally the power button. On the back, you get three USB-A ports, two HDMI ports, and two Ethernet ports, which are both one gigabits per second. Hooking this up is quite simple since everything comes included. All you gotta do is plug in your power, and plug in your HDMI to your monitor, and that's it, you can power it on. Now you will need a USB uh, mouse and keyboard for this to get connected, but once you get it all connected, you can also use Bluetooth mouse and keyboard once you're inside Windows. All right, so the question is, what is this really good for? Well, first what we could do is do some synthetic benchmarking so that we can see where this PC stands. So as for specs, this is Intel Core i5-1235U, and this is a 10-core 12-thread CPU that can boost up to 4.4 gigahertz. It also comes with 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, and having a lot of RAM can help you when it comes to video editing, or if you're using this mini PC for office related tasks, then having more RAM is very helpful. And for storage, this has one terabyte of NVMe SSD, which is fast. And speaking of fast, let's run a benchmark test. So I fired up Crystal Mark, which is a benchmarking tool for SSDs. And when I run the test for five gigabyte storage, I get read speeds of 1597 megabytes per second read and 4698 megabytes per second write, which is generally quite fast, faster than a Mac mini. So when it comes to SSD read write speeds, this mini PC is around 43% faster on read and about 60% faster on write speeds when compared with the Mac mini. And that's the base model Mac mini. The next benchmarking that I did was using Geekbench 6. Now this tests for everything, CPU, memory, and your storage speed. So it's like a mixed score of everything. So when I ran that, this came around 2059 for single score and 7523 for multi-score. And the last synthetic benchmark test that I did was using Cinebench R23. And for that, I got a single score of 1475 and a multi-score of 5991. So again, compared to Mac mini, this is, you know, lagging behind. While the synthetic benchmarks give you a direction on, you know, how much a PC is capable of, the real life use case is what really matters. For me, the real question is, can it handle certain types of tasks without an ease? Sure, it might be slow to finish, but if it can handle it from start to finish, then I think we're in business. And like I mentioned previously, you can use this for, you know, office tasks like, you know, spreadsheets, or, you know, doing multiple web browsing, having multiple pages open, or even, you know, do easily some video editing in here without any issues. But there's a whole nother side of home labbing that you can do with this device. Now, this device comes pre-installed with Windows 11 Pro. And with that, you can go in and enable Hyper-V, which is a hypervisor, and which can let you, you know, install a full-blown Linux operating system or you can just, you know, wipe the entire Windows system and actually install Linux directly onto this PC. And doing that sort of gets you started for home labbing. And not only that, you can also install Proxmox, which can be used for running a proper home lab 
while using minimal power but still getting very good performance. You know, with Proxmox and the specs this PC has, you can easily run up to four different virtual machines and you can do that by easily distributing your RAM and your CPUs accordingly. Do check out some other videos on this channel. I've shown you how to set up, you know, Proxmox on different mini PCs. So this is no different than that. And if you just follow one of those guys, you should be able to install Proxmox on this PC without any issues. So yeah, in conclusion, I would say that for price to performance ratio, this is a very good office PC that you can, you know, easily set up in your home office for doing some, you know, regular tasks like browsing or, you know, surfing the web or watching YouTube videos. And also for, you know, office work, you could definitely use this mini PC. Even for editing videos, this is not bad at all. And it's actually very good for, you know, a home lab use case. So if you do plan on running a home lab and you do want something that's, you know, powerful, but budget friendly as well, and it doesn't consume enough power, then this is a very good mini PC to select. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or concerns. Let them know in the comments below and I'll sure try to answer them.